Another important test is measuring that high current when the starter engages. To do this, we'll use the I-410 current clamp. It measures inductively. In other words, when current is flowing through a circuit, we develop a magnetic field around the wire called eddy currents. What this clamp will do is connect around the wire, measure that magnetic field, and convert it into a millivolt output at the other end. So we'll use the millivolt position on our meter and we'll make the measurement. The first step is to turn the meter to the millivolt position. The second step is to insert the leads into the meter. Now remember that they're polarity sensitive. The next step is to turn the clamp on and then use this knob to zero the clamp. Now we're going to connect around the negative battery cables. Remember that the arrow points towards the negative most side of the circuit and also make sure that you clamp around all of the cables that are there. Now we'll engage min-max recording function. Now we'll crank the engine. By pressing the min-max button, we see that the starter used 386.8 amps. By pressing it again, we can see that the alternator put 70.8 amps initial inrush current back into the battery. Of a note, over time, the jaws can become magnetized, very similar to degaussing a computer monitor. Simply snap the jaws a couple times and it demagnetizes them.